Aquarius, good morning. How you guys doing? So we are going to do all of these sort of questions that are all up here, Aquarius. How are you? What are you raving? <laughs> uh, Ricky, Rachel, Rashad, Evans, Barry, Tina, Tyler, Taro. Uh, some of you are R's, though. I keep hearing R's or Lars. Anyone has got R in the name. Anyway, Aquarius. So we're looking at where are you now? Where is Aquarius now? What's going on with Aquarius now is... Ooh, Seven of Swords, ADHD. If any of you have ADHD, that's where you are now, just dealing with yourself. I can't concentrate on someone else in the kitchen, in the door, asking me where I'm going, when I'm not going, when I'm coming back, how's my relationship going? Please just stay out of my way and give me some time to focus on myself. You might see this person as a selfish, arrogant prick. Maybe, I don't know, but that is what they're doing. They can only focus on where they're going. That's it. Like, I can't focus on the past anymore the past is the past i don't care what happened in the past let's just forget it let's move forward let's just move on or let's just move on okay let's move out move away from each other stay away from each other or let's just forget it and move on okay but i cannot help but just think about what i'm doing okay i can consider you but only when i can consider you Okay, so, but you're a selfish, arrogant prick. You don't ever think of anything about like yourself. I'm sorry, but I have ADHD. I can't think of anyone else but me. Okay, so you've kind of got Cancerian or Life Path 7. Do you want to meet up? Do you want to meet up somewhere and just get away from her for a little bit and then we can kind of have a bit of a break and we can talk to one another silently? Oh, it might be a third party. Could be. Someone's trying to get away from a... See, so trying to get away from a five. Sagittarius, Taurus, or a life path five. If not, a Pisces, life path three. If I say not, you say one, two, three, swing another tree. Uh, but this is also running away from five, which means that uh, you are not going to stand there arguing with me. And if you are and you're fucking shouting and you're screaming, I am not going to listen to you telling me what to do. Never, ever. Crosswatcher alike. Never tell someone what to do, because the moment you tell them, the moment they're not going to listen. You have to ask them really calmly and really nicely, because you've got to be calm. Because even if someone is angry and you're calm, eventually they will regret what they said, and they'll come back to you with open arms saying, I'm sorry about what I said. I actually do see the fact that it was my fault. And you'll get them every single time, as long as you do not respond in an aggressive manner. Because a seven will not pay any attention to a five. Okay, because it carries five. It takes it into consideration. You know what? I'll think about it. But if you're going to fucking shout and scream, I'm sorry, but I don't want nothing to do with it, right? I'm just going to get an ice cream maker, which I have actually got. <laughs> it's coming tomorrow. Uh, Ninja Whippy, I think they're called. I don't know what they are. But, like, I'm just going to go and make ice cream, okay? <laughs> so you go and eat your ice cream then. What's that you bought, an ice cream maker? Oh, where are we going to fit that in the kitchen? Well, it'll go somewhere. Don't worry about it. Like, do you have to be in the kitchen when I'm in here? Because I'm trying to do something, and I really can't stand it when you're around me. Yeah, but I'm trying to talk to you, lovey. And you're like, listen, Dave, you might want to talk to me, but I can't concentrate on cooking and listening to you. Sorry, but if you've got ADD, you'll know what I mean. If you don't, then think about it, right? If you're in the kitchen and there's loads of shit going on and someone's like, do, 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 let's just do it. Oh, oh, anyway, by the way, how's it? And you're like, oh, it's, I, I'm sorry. And you're like, what's the matter with you? You're like, I, <laughs> I can't concentrate. I can only think about one thing at a time. I can't concentrate on you nagging or moaning or asking me questions. Please just leave me alone. Okay. If they've got ADD, that's why. Okay. At the moment, Aquarius, right? Attention deficit disorder. I am not listening to you being telling me yes or no, yes or no, if or but, what or what. I can't make up a decision. Well, you think about that, I'll think about me, okay? <laughs> two, runs from those two there. So let's see, Sad, uh, Aquarius, where are they now? So five of cups, I told you. Seven runs from what? Five. It runs from conflict. It avoids low vibration. Oh, but you upset me. Like, oh, God, here we go again, Dave. Like, you know, what you're upset about now? Well, you're making me feel really bad. 
I can't help it, <laughs> right? You make yourself feel bad. You put yourself in time out. You had a go at me, okay? You told me that I was no good. You made me feel like I wasn't a man or a woman or that I'm not capable of doing things myself. I am. Just leave me alone and I'll do it myself. I'll do it in my own time. But you need to go and tidy up your room and you need to, if you shut up, I'll go and do it, but I'll do it in my own time. Because time to a person that has ADHD does not, it don't compute. That's why they're always late. <laughs> right, you're supposed to come and pick me up and you forgot. I'm sorry, I forgot. Okay, you turned up two hours late. What have you been doing? I don't know, thinking about something. What, not me? Yeah, like I'm finding it difficult to concentrate. <laughs> right, <laughs> anybody else out there notice any kind of patterns or sequences maybe? But again, it's like, oh, but you made me really upset. You don't have any time and I'm now really emotional because of what you said. Yeah, well, you said it. That's what I'm saying. Don't respond, okay? Because you might say something that you regret later, okay? So now, so now I do regret it. Now I understand. It's like I want to apologize to you, but you're not around for me to apologize. No, I've left. You told me to. No, I didn't. Yes, you did because you abandoned it. You made it that awkward to put up with you, the fact that I couldn't. So I can't win, can I? So what have you won? Fuck all being single on your own. Yeah, but now I regret it. Well, <laughs> what do you want me to do about it, Dave? <laughs> you know, you told me, you said something. You had, a, you had a five of ones moment where things didn't quite go the way you wanted it to. Yeah, well, we're different. We're not the same people. Okay. We don't think the same. We don't live in the same house or whatnot. And if we do, you're getting on my fucking nerves. So give me a breather. If we don't live in the same house, then, you know, I'm sorry that I'm late, but what do you want me to do about it? I've got way too much on at the moment, right? I've got work. I've got other things to think about. Why did you forget me? Because I have ADD, Dave, <laughs> right? But again, it's this like, but I now regret what I say and I want to speak to you, but I don't know if you're going to accept my apology or not. Because now that I understand my ways that I was trying to stop you from being you, to try and stop you from making your, like, it's kind of like trying to stop a child from making a mistake. You're going to make a big mistake. If you go back, I'm telling you what, you're going to, and I'm going to stick my nose in your relationship. And I'm telling you what now, young man or young lady, if you go back with them, don't ever come back to me again or a third party. If you go back with her or you go back with him, don't you ever come back with me. I'm not going to accept you back in your life. Okay, then don't, then I'll go. Oh, <laughs> they actually left because you argued, <laughs> right? Or because you are arguing, right? Because you told them you didn't want to be with them, right? But again, if someone has deep, deep, deep rooted issues of sabotage, Fives, life part five, Sagittarius Taurus. So I'm going to do a teaching segment for very quickly. Always look for fours and fives. That's your conflict. Scorpio, Aries, okay, Sagittarius Taurus. Life part five, life part four. They are your most conflicted areas of patterns because war arguments are what separates everybody. Arguing is what creates everything, is an argument, okay? Blaming, shouting, you not twat right? <laughs> so, <clears throat> you stupid goldfish, right? You forgot, <laughs> right? But like, uh, so always look for those, fours and fives, Sagittarius, Taurus, life path four, life path five, Scorpio and Aries, placements within your chart, right? Finds out where you're compatible or where you're not. But again, I feel lonely. I feel on my own. Can I come over and see you tonight? Okay. So like, yes, of course you can, or no, you're not, right? <laughs> so don't forget Aquarius. If you are like, hold on a minute, this doesn't relate to me at all, Dave, but I am a Leo, and the Leo, and it relates to you watching it because you've got a Leo placement somewhere, or a fish placement somewhere, because I keep saying place, and that is a cod and a haddock and a fish. So if, if it, as watching it as Aquarius doesn't relate to you at all, okay, but you are a Leo and this relates to you, there you go. You need to watch it through the aspect of being eight. Aquarius, Leo, life path eights. Believe you me, it works more than what you know because there's your numerology. There is the conflict within those fours, fives, sevens, not paying attention, blah, blah, blah. Okay, running out on me and all this sort of stuff and you keep running back to her or him and, okay, I'm trying to tell you something and you don't listen or I did do and now I realize now I've calmed down again Oh, so you're doing your five again are you now you feel low and you feel down it's like oh I don't feel very well I'm exhausted you're draining me no you're draining yourself by overthinking 
Okay, don't tell me I'm over there. Oh. Okay, I'll just avoid you. Don't you avoid me. <laughs> right. So someone is really either one considering leaving someone because they're I don't know, boring, or they just can't get on with the person. And it's like, oh, it's just, it's like chalk and cheese, Dave. It don't go together, right? <laughs> so <laughs> let's see. I'm only kidding, but you know, you know me. I get passionate about what I read about. So let's see. It's just a card at the end of the day, Aquarius. But if it's your life, then it's quite serious. So <laughs> let's Aquarius. What's going on with Aquarius, please? Where are they now? Where are they now? So, Ace of Cups in reverse. Oh, dear. There is no offer. There is no opportunity. I've took it off the table. Fuck you, Dave. You're a twat. Okay. You do you. I do me. I don't want this offer. Don't then. Okay. Don't. Or I do want an offer, but you're not going to accept it. So, there's no point me even trying. Because I might even try, but what's that? Every time I've tried, it's failed. You've not listened. Yeah, but you're trying to make me not be who I am. You're not satisfied. I am. I just want this out. Again, that's something that I'm not doing right, isn't it? Right? I am who I am. You are who you are. Do you love me for who and what I do? What's your answer? Yeah, but you're distant. I, I, again, I am a person that's quite distant. Do you love me about that? Yes, if you could know. There is no ifs or buts, Jeff, Steph or Jeff. There isn't. Do you love me for who I am? No. Right, go then. Leave. Okay, go and leave. Okay, leave me alone. Stop contacting me. Stop coming back into my life. Stop ringing me up. I can't help it because we're soul tight. Again, that means we're in hell, right? <laughs> right, so what are we going through? Control issues, realizing that we can't control the way that we are, right? There's never one person to blame. Never. Never one person to blame because the other person will see it the same way. How do they think and feel? The same as you do. Same as you do. Mother, father, sister, brother, friend. You know, whichever way around, right? The loss. I feel at a loss. I feel like I'm lacking in something. Okay, I feel like I'm not good enough for you. <sighs> right? So, let's have a look, Dave, so you can see stuff. Um, so, that's where you are now, but they will be clarified. So, the challenges that Aquarius is going to be faced with this week are... The Ace of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Ten of Wands working. I'm just going to go to work and do me and think about that, okay? Because I can't deal with you whilst I'm working. When I work and you cause arguments and you argue, I cannot go to work thinking about this anymore because it is affecting me working because I've got loads of work to do. Well, but why are you not talking to me? Why? You I'm sorry, sweetheart, but I've got a lot of work to do. The bills are packing up. Like, you know, I've got stuff to do. I've been called into work. I've got to do some extra shifts, and I can't just sit around. Like, I've got to work. Okay, I have to work because the boss is asking me to do some extra hours or I can't afford to keep doing this without being paid, right? So I've got to go where the money is. I've got to go where that is happening, right? Here. It's a little bit like me and my YouTube channel and Patreon, really, <laughs> right? I've got to go where people are paying me. I can't pay so much attention around YouTube that isn't. I have to focus more on Patreon or YouTube and not, you know, but <laughs> it's it's like this. I can't be pulled in two different directions here and there. I can't do this and this all at the same time, right? Now, if this is one person, what they're doing, concentrating on their work and their money. But if you've argued because of that, that's because you've distracted the person at work, right? Like, why haven't you got any time? Because I've got to go at work. Sorry, got to go. It's like, good morning. Oh, God, you don't even say good morning or goodbye, do you? No. <laughs> Why? Because I have ADD. Why is that? Because if I have attention deficit disorder and I don't say good morning or good night or goodbye, it's because you're going to try and get my attention when I'm late. Okay. So why do you run out the door and slam the door without saying anything? Because I've probably forgot that I'm going to be late to do something in my life. And now things have really caught up on me. And now I'm in a rush and I don't like being in a rush. So why do you run straight out the door without saying anything? Because I can only think about what I'm doing, not you. 
You look out yourself. You do you. Talk to me later. Yeah, but I don't never get your attention. Later never comes. No, because time is different to a person that has ADD. That's why it's as if they've never got any. <laughs> right? Because it just slips by. Days and months, they all merge into one. Okay, they forget what day it is. They forget what time it is. Okay, everything. They forget a hell of a lot of things. Right? They can't live by structure. Five Sagittarius Taurus. They don't live by routine, right? That's why they say, why can't you just literally clear up your room? Well, a normal person would do that, but I can't live by a routine. I'm more spontaneous. I have to do it when I feel like it. So what about sex? I can only do it when I feel up to sex. I can't perform like a monkey. It doesn't work. I don't have dopamine and stuff that run through my body that make it just do that like i can't just make it do that okay i have to wait for the right time to be able to do that okay so like why don't you like appreciate me <laughs> uh, you know why why is sex a problem why do we never seem to you know spend time you know <laughs> so if this is one person and you're not really dealing with anyone then you may have attention deficit disorder and feeling lonely and on your own, okay, but at least you're peaceful, <laughs> okay, because I'm hearing, well, at least here it's peaceful and it's quiet here, you know, I don't have to deal with all of this when I'm over here, okay, because it can be a third party situation, you know, instead of me dealing with all of this, if you work too much, then choose your job over me, but the person could have ADD. They could be controlled by money and also their boss. I can't have time off. And you're making me choose between my work and you. Why would you do that? I'm controlled by money in the government and bills and, and everything else. I'm controlled by that. That is controlling me. Out here is controlling me. But you're trying to tell me that I'm not enough of a man when I'm a good provider. Okay, yeah, but you're not giving me enough. What is enough for you then? Well, by doing more for me. <laughs> right? By giving me more feelings and emotions that I don't never feel satisfied with because I'm a five. Because one minute I could be a five of wands, then a five of pentacles, and then a five of swords. Right? Why is it that I keep running into more of these scenarios time and time again and it never seems to go my way? <laughs> I can't never get someone to do what I want them to do. I can't never get someone to be the dream guy or person that I want them to be because life isn't perfect. <laughs> I keep looking for people that are perfect. Well, you're going to have a big fucking shock. <laughs> so let's see what is it that triggers this person off about Aquarius is the queen of wands is their mother or your oh Jesus Christ I told you ADD attention deficit disorder so if you've got cross comparisons of Aquarians and Leo and you've both got it in your chart okay then the same person will come up as the same aspect their mother triggers them off because their mother gives them a load of shit as well about being this way they see the whole thing as unfair or that there is an affair in a relationship right but divorcing separation the other woman you're not divorced yet has it changed yet no has the circumstance changed yet no has the person no okay um why do you all say no when I ask you to do something? Because I'm busy. <laughs> I've got to work, right? But um, this is what triggers them is their mum triggers them off here. This is like trying to get your attention to focus on me. But you're fucking arguing me when I start work. Do not have an argument with me as I'm about to walk out the door because you wonder why I don't give you the time of day when I walk out the door because you're more than likely asking to ask me to do loads of chores or you're going to ask me to do something I don't want to do. Yeah, but you're supposed to do that. No, <laughs> you gave birth to me, <laughs> right? But you're supposed to do all of these things according to you because you keep telling me to do it. If you was to ask me to do it, I would probably do it if you was to ask. But because you're not asking and you're telling, 
every time you tell me, I'm just going to not do it. So stop telling me to do it. Right? Again, it comes down to this energy. This is the trigger. This is the mirror. This is what annoys the person that they tell a person, I've got a problem. What is it? Work. Oh, right. So what's happening at work? I'm really stressed. Oh, okay. Well, let's let's talk about it then. Brilliant. I've got a problem. What? Well, you didn't do so. Oh, okay, there we go. You just said it. You, I, <laughs> right? You are not doing. You didn't do. You, this. I need you to do. I need to talk to you, <laughs> right? When you don't want to talk to me, but then I want to talk to you. It's different, isn't it? <laughs> right? So it's all right for you to come back and want me when you want me. But when I want you, you don't pay any attention. No, because I have ADD. <laughs> you have to realize I have mental health. So you gotta, you got to learn to live with it because I can't. I can't change mental health problems. Okay. But you can change your attitudes towards me if you can. Right? <laughs> <clears throat> but again, what triggers people off here in this scenario for one is being told what to do. Nobody likes being told what to do, Aquarius. If I was to tell you to fuck off, would you like it? Why would I say that? I wouldn't because I want you to smash that like button. I want you to subscribe and really help out with the channel and join the join button and join Patreon if you would, Aquarius or Leo or Life Path 8. And I would really much appreciate it. Okay. But if I was to say, oi. Oi, Schofield, no! <laughs> right? But if I say, Oi, no, that isn't right. You're not supposed to do that. What are you going to do? <laughs> Unsubscribe, fuck off and go elsewhere. This is why when I did Sagittarius reading, five people unsubscribed from the channel. Probably because it was the truth and they didn't want to stay around long enough to listen to learn. I'm going to avoid it. I'm going to avoid listening because I'm either one daft enough to think that you're talking about me doing it, <laughs> right? So I think that you're picking on me as a star. I don't give a fuck. It's not a star sign. It's the story. Someone's doing it, <laughs> okay? So you're going to either stay around and listen or I ain't got time to listen to this jargon nonsense, Bobbycock bollocks, because they're a cheating, lying, fucking wanker, and I don't want to know. They're a prick. So you're telling me on a tarot card channel what I'm actually watching for. So I don't want to watch you anymore. I want to listen to the yummy gummy bears and believe that it's all going to come true when it isn't. <laughs> right? I want a tarot reader to tell me something magical about my life, that money's just going to appear up out my asshole. Well, it doesn't. It's either true or false. So, you know, people either want lying to or they want telling the truth. But some people that are told don't like it, right? So when I do my job and I tell people that watch, they don't like it. It might be my manner. I don't know. But it's also my life as well as it is yours because I have Aquarius in Venus and other places, right? Mercury. Okay. So, I have ADD. Where do I get it? From everybody. Every motherfucker comes out the woodwork having a go at Steve. Like, loads of people. I'm like, what the fuck, man? Right, Aquarius, you could be single on your own and have more problems than a third world country. You could also give an aspirin a headache by your job. You'd be like, fuck it. I'm like, I haven't got a job. I haven't got money. Bills are pilking up and I've got, oh, no. <laughs> Right? I'm single, but my life is going to shit. Right? Why is it that everybody keeps having a go at me about stuff? Because you can't run from karma. You can't run from it. Right? Because you're stressed. People are trying to test your patience. Patience. Temperance. Anything in life. Right? If you walk outside and a carrot jumps out in front of you and says, Whoa, you all right there, carrot? Yeah, listen, you ginger prick. Do you think you're talking? See? <laughs> Who do you think you're talking to? Right? I can't believe my patience was tested by a carrot. <laughs> right? So how did I respond to the client, to the person, to the friend, 
to what happened in my life. What did I do when Dave cut me up in front of Beep! Fuck you, Roy! Right. Tested my patience. Who tests that? Capricorn, the devil. <laughs> right? How are you going to respond to a negative action? Jackson, Julian, Jason, Justin, Jackie, Jasmine, Jack. How are you going to respond to that? Are you going to respond at all? Is it actually going to really annoy you? What's that going to do? Make you close down. So what you're not doing? Learning. Anything about temper. About your temper and about their temper. Tantrums. Tanya, Tyler, Tarot. Okay. How are you learning about that? Okay, does it rub me up and I'm just going to have to say something and it winds me up because I can't or it winds me up when I hear people saying or doing these things and it makes me so angry. Why? Why does it? Because they're doing things that I don't like. They're not paying attention to me. You're not going to get anywhere doing that. That's what this person triggers. That's what triggers them off. Their husband, their wife, their ex, the divorce situation, their ex-husband or wife, the children that they once had with an ex-relationship, their present one, their past one, <laughs> right? Their deceased loved one, like my dad, my mum. It's just like, you know, everything getting on top of me. I don't know what to do, where to go, where to run, where to hide. Realise that I can't. I realise that I cannot hide from the responsibilities of what I gave birth to, of what I did, of what I said. Okay, I can only hold my hands up and agree that yes, you are right. But will your ego allow you to do that? Okay, or will you let your ego rule your life? Okay. By losing, you see, this is an energy of like, well, you know, congratulations, you have won fuck all. <laughs> Who won karmically? Nobody. What did you end up? Single with children and a divorce. Where do you end up? Nowhere. Struggling around work and finances and money. My children draining the ass off me. Okay. <laughs> but like, you know, in an argument, who wins? Nobody. Because you end up single. You end up on your own. Ah, but I want someone new. Okay, let's wait until karma shows you what the new person will bring you. Because when you're in a circumstance that's very negative and you leave a circumstance to go straight into another one, don't forget that a manifestation takes about five to six months to come true. So all of that negative energy of what you blamed and shouted and screamed at in one scenario comes true later when you're in a new one and you wonder why the fuck that came back around to me because <laughs> the way I treated the other person, but I don't see it that way because I'm conditioned to believe it's their fault. So I don't give myself time in order to be single, or I am, and I don't want bothering with Dave because I'm sick of you, right? <laughs> so let's see. So why does Aquarius have where they are now? What's going on? Why is it that they're here now? Because of karmic friends. Can't fully trust them. Tension, secrets, competition. Here, competition. Seeking attention, trying to get someone else's attention. Competition in third-party relationships. Competition between me and my mother and my father and family. Okay, and I can't seem to win. Everybody tries to get my attention. Attention, Aquarius. It says it in the card. Attention. Tension, but basically attention. Can't fully trust them. Tension, secrets, and com uh, competition. But it does say tension. That does say attention. Okay. So what is that? Well, I'm getting so tense and wound up. The fact that you just will not leave me alone. Okay, why can I not get rid of this energy and this stink of shit off me, <laughs> right? <laughs> but why? Why can't I? Because you can't. It follows you, right? Karma follows you everywhere you go. It watches you. It isn't a person. It's Saturn, <laughs> right? But it can also be ADD. So let's see at uh, challenges. Challenges. This, uh, why 
is this in the challenge position for Aquarius? For their challenges is dirty offer. So I'm offering someone else out because you don't do what I want and you didn't and we argued and we spat and we left. So someone else is making me an offer. You lost me forever, Trevor. You need to hurry up, make up your mind as I'm going off with someone new because they're offering me out. This person asked me out and said, well, you know, I like you. If you wasn't with them, I like you. You could come to me if you left them here. <laughs> right. <laughs> so that's the challenge. Is this person bothered enough that this person's now saying there's someone else in the picture if you don't buck up your ideas, young man? <laughs> right. <laughs> so tell me about the triggers for Aquarius. Is ego, family. Told you. This person's getting it by their mother, their father, their daughter, their sister, their in-laws and their outlaws that trigger them off and piss them off also because they possibly don't want them or they do. Arguments within that also. Then the relationship starts to add more pressure at this person, starts to wind them up even more because the ego, you see, her ego getting in the way of relationships because of the arguments, because of what is done and what's been said when you've been arguing, because of the response, the way that you have responded to arguments, the things that are said during an argument, they cannot ever be forgotten. You will always remember the argument. You remember the trauma, the ego. You'll remember that because it's part of the brain. That is the ego. This is why lessons are not learned because of the response. Yeah, but they keep winding me up, Steve, because you're letting them wind you up. Because your response is, don't talk to me like that. No, you're not doing this. No, you're not. Don't you dare. Okay. Yeah, but they're trying to take my children. Let them have the kids. At least if they've got the kids, you don't have to support your children financially, physically, mentally, and emotionally. Yeah, but they're not because he's a narc. Well, keep doing it. <laughs> right? But look at the burden that would be lifted if you, if you just had you to look after. Right? Can you do that? Probably not, no. So what's going to happen? You're constantly going to be fighting in court for the children's sake that are being affected by you two cheating each other like kids. Children arguing over children. <laughs> right? Here. Yeah, but I can't let my children go. Don't. But this will keep happening. Right. <laughs> yeah, but I'm getting divorced, Steve. Well, that is in the eyes of the beholder of the law, not me. Okay. Law-abiding citizen, Laura. So there you go. There's a very quickie. Uh, if you want your weekly readings, Aquarius, they are over. All 12 star signs are always being done every single day before I do anything on here. Star signs of where I am being paid are all being done over on Patreon. You get a full table spread, all clarified, and these cards to give you extra things that are there. Okay. And it also really helps me out because if you're not paying, I'm not getting paid either. Okay. Because YouTube definitely isn't paying me because YouTube's money's gone down, really down. They've actually cut the majority of how much they pay YouTubers. They've cut it off to like half. <laughs> so what I used to get paid, I'm half that. So never mind. But if you do want to help out on Steve, Patreon is there as an opportunity to watch all of your readings. So you'll need the silver tier. If you've got the gold tier, that is 75 teaching videos where I teach you loads of stuff about how to work your way around your karma, to do's and don'ts. If I learn it, I teach it. Okay. So there you go, guys. All links are provided below, and I'll see you soon.